Good afternoon. Today is September 21st. I'm Hudson Stein, and welcome to our seventh LPTV broadcast of 2016. For students who want to sign the national anthem for our Laporte homecoming game, there will be an after-school practice this week today and Thursday in Ms. Duvall's room, C7, 245. You must be present at rehearsal to participate in Friday's homecoming game, September 30th. Hope to see you there. This week, the Bulldogs will be playing Rayburn on Saturday at Pasadena Memorial Stadium at 6 o'clock. Tickets will be sold Thursday and Friday during all lunches. Adults $5, students $3. Come out and support the Bulldogs. Interact Club will meet every Tuesday after school in Upstairs B Hall in room 102 from 2.45 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. If you enjoy helping others in community service, come join the Interact Club. Interact Club will have a Sonic Car Wash fundraiser on Saturday, October 24th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now to Zach. If you're interested in buying a student council shirt, it is $20, and the money is due by September 23rd. Money must be turned in by then. The FFA will be competing at the Pasadena Livestock Show and Rodeo this weekend and next week. Laporte FFA has entries in the following shows. Pig, lamb, goat, chicken, agricultural mechanics, cattle, and floral design. Good luck to our Laporte FFA and for a successful show this weekend and next week. Bring home the ribbons. If you'd like to have a creative ad made for your club, organization, or event, come to LPTV and let us know. We'd love to help you, out, get, help you get the word out. Juniors, are you interested in a career this t for STEM? Spend an all-expense-paid weekend at NASA's Johnson Space Center, where you'll get guidance from NASA engineers and scientists as you work in st with, from the students across the state to complete hands-on engineering design challenges and plan a mission to Mars. Please see your counselor, Ms. Hawthorne, in the Counseling Center for details. Thank you for watching LPTV. Follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at LPTVTX. After listening to students complain about current school policy changes, we decided to have some fun with it. So we went out and we asked students what their opinions were on things we made up. How do you feel about them having assigned seats at lunch next year? I feel very strongly that's not a good idea. <laughs> I might throw food at people. Oh, that oh sucks. what? <laughs> we won't a be here. So, we won't be here. So I mean, we're not in junior high anymore. It doesn't bother me. Well, I think it's good because, like, you know how like a lot of fights happen at lunch. So I think it'd be good. How do y'all feel about them prolonging the school day and replacing homeroom with PE? Well, no. I think. <laughs> No, no. Uh, I'd move to Deer Park. I like homeroom. I don't want it. I like homeroom. How do you feel about the school having a uniform policy next year? I mean, I'm graduating, so I don't really care. No, I don't want there to be a dress code next year. What? Oh, no. There's going to be a dress code next year. Everyone, there's going to be a dress code next year. So sad. Um, I think that's unnecessary. Like, for real. I don't think that's a good idea. I think it restricts our freedom of expression. Uh, okay, I don't like that at all. I like wearing my own clothes, so uh, I don't like that. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. How do you feel about them uh, removing IDs, but inputting a chip into your wrist? Oh, heck no. I think that, just leave the ID, like, you have to actually put a chip into your wrist, like, do you have to cut yourself? Or? No, I think they should leave IDs. Sure. <laughs> Why not? It'd be a lot more convenient. I mean, we won't lose it, so. Hi, my name's Emerald Diaz with LPTV, and we're here with Miss Solace from Culinary Arts. Hi, Miss Solace, how are you doing? Good. And I'm here to ask you a few questions about your facility that you have here. And how's it going so far? It's going great. Thank you. Um, fantastic facility. We've got some great uh, uh, equipment in there, state of the art, uh, really big. It's nice. What are the best food that you've made so far? Well, that's one of the things. We've done a couple of little things in here. Um, we've done some stuff for administration. Um, we've done a couple of little small caterings, but we're looking forward to actually creating a lunch menu and, and serving to the teachers and to the um, staff members. Yeah, I've heard about this uh, catering. Can you tell us a little about it? Like, 
Yeah, we uh, basically, we have a monthly catering that we cater for the workforce committee that meets to um, kind of help the career and technology and, and get them going. It's with the Chamber of Commerce, but we also have a few other caterings like we'll cater for Chato's. Um, we've, in the past, we've catered for tennis and a couple other things, administration. So That's when cool. we're asked, we do it. That's good. Um, how is the Bulldog Bistro doing? Um, right now we're off to a slow start, but that's to be expected with um, the new facilities still ironing out a few little things that, that need to happen, but we should be full swing by October. All right, and um, it's going to be open for all Bulldogs? Uh, you know, I would love to serve students, but Y'all have requirements as a student, uh, nutritional requirements, and it kind of takes away from our learning the things that we need to learn most of the time. Sodium is what makes the restaurant business great. You salt and season, and <laughs> that's what does not make it great for some of the requirements. So at this point, until things change, we're just gonna go for teachers and staff. All right, and would you say that the new kitchen is an improvement from the last one oh yes yeah it's nice i think the last one was from the 70s and of course always had plumbing issues and everything else and so far we're just having just a few little minor things to get taken care of and so as soon as they're done we'll be all new and excited all right well thank you for being with us today i'm emerald diaz and this is lptv Now, everyone pay attention for a minute. All right, my name is Hudson. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reading your minds. So I have a deck of cards. Does anyone want to cut the cards any way they like? All right, he raised his hand up first, so he's going to cut the cards any way he likes. Oh, hey. <laughs> Drop the card. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's up, man. All right, now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be going through the cards, and all you're going to do, who's going to do it? Who wants to tell me to stop? All right, so I'm going to cut the cards. Now, so you're going to tell me when to stop? Yeah. No. All right, one more time. <laughs> all right. So I didn't went a little too fast right there. Tell him to stop. Determination. <laughs> no. Take off your glasses, please. Whoa. Eight of clubs. Whoa. 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 Tune in next time for Hudson Udini. That's all, folks.